right, y'all. So this Saturday is the Royal Rumble, and I am hyped up. The Royal Rumble is my favorite event of the year. Even at points in my life where I wasn't the biggest in wrestling, I've always made time to catch the Rumble. It's my favorite. I love the countdown. I love everybody just mobbing into the ring, throwing each other over, starts the road to WrestleMania. Just an awesome event. But today we're going to be doing my predictions and we're going to preview the Rumble. And it's actually a smaller card this year. There's only four matches, so I really like that. Uh, two Rumble matches and then two championship matches. So they didn't load up the card unless on SmackDown this week they decide to add an extra match, which I hope they don't do that. But yeah, so we got four matches to go over. So I'm going to give you my predictions, what I think might happen, who might show up. I might give you a dark horse contender for both Rumbles, as well as who I think is going to outright win the Rumble. The most predictable ones, I suppose. Also, I just want to take this time to thank all the new subscribers and returning subscribers. A lot of people enjoying my History of the Royal Rumble video, so that's great. Worked really hard on that, so thank you. Appreciate your support, and check it out if you haven't. History of the Royal Rumble, 1988 to 2024. Now let's get into the predictions. Let's start with the only singles match of the night, and that is Kevin Owens versus the champion Logan Paul for the United States Championship. And I'll be brief with this one. I think Logan's coming out on top. I don't see them taking the belt off of him after one title defense. This would be the only title defense because he has not defended it yet. I think it's going to be a really fun match. I think Kevin will have some fun moments. I think they're going to do something where Logan takes advantage of Kevin's wrist injury. Uh, I don't think he can wear his wrist brace to the match because it's a, a weapon and he's been using it as a weapon. So I do expect Logan to win probably by nefarious means, but I see him coming out on top. Yeah, I just don't see them taking the belt off of him this early. I think he will keep the belt till Mania. So Kevin Owens going to put over Logan. It'll be a good match. So yeah, we're going to go with Logan Paul. The next match is the fatal four-way for the undisputed universal championship between Roman Reigns, the champion, AJ Styles, LA Knight, and Randall Keith Orton, Randy Orton. And this should be really fun. Like I said, there's only four matches on the card, so these guys should get time to cook. And I think this match will be a lot of fun. Now, my heart <laughs> really wants to pick Randy Orton. But I, I think my brain is telling me that, that Roman's going to retain. I don't see them taking the belt off of him this early and not at Mania. But... I think there's a chance. I think there's a slim chance. If you saw my booking video, my fantasy booking video uh, for basically this match, I called a fatal four-way, and I was like, take the belt off of Roman, put it on Randy, and then you could do Randy versus Cody. Things have changed a bit since then. Seth's injury, I think, affects this a little bit too. Just who do we have as champion? But I think Randy would make a great champion and a great feud with Cody, but I... <laughs> I just don't see him doing it. There's a chance, though. I think the only chance is if this match closes out the night. If one of the Rumbles is the main event, no way they take the belt off of Roman. He's not dropping the belt in a non-main event spot. But I don't know the layout of the matches yet. I don't know who's going on first, who's going on last. If this match is the main event, I could see them swerving us a little bit and flipping the title. And my prediction would be Randy then. If this match is not the main event, then I'm going with Roman. All right, now we have the Women's Royal Rumble, and I think there's a few contenders in this one. I think the two most obvious are Becky Lynch and Bayley. Uh, my pick in the end is going to be Bayley, but I think there are some dark horse competitors as well. I could see them swerving us and putting Nia Jax through, which would be kind of shocking and I think would upset a lot of people. If Jade Cargill shows up, I think she will show up, but I do not think she's going to win the Rumble in her first match ever in the WWE. And then if Liv Morgan shows up, I think she'd be a great dark horse contender as well. But I am going to go with Bailey, even though I could see her getting eliminated by damage control or something happening of that sort. But it's going to be Bailey or it's going to be Becky. But I'm going to go with Bailey and dark, dark horse would be um, Liv Morgan. And now finally, the men's Royal Rumble match. And the obvious betting favorites are CM Punk and Cody Rhodes. Uh, they did a good job on Raw, kind of like pushing us into the direction of maybe Gunther will win. And I think Gunther would make a great Rumble winner. But I don't see this as his year. He had a great showing last year. I expect him to have another great showing. But ultimately, I'm going to go with CM Punk. He just came back to the WWE. This is his first match back. It's a huge match. It sets him up for the WrestleMania main event he's always asked for. So I see them giving Punk his flowers and welcome back, congratulations. And I think he's going to win the Rumble. 
But I wouldn't be totally shocked if they swerve us and maybe give it to Cody because um, that's the next logical answer. Or maybe The Rock shows up and <laughs> spoils the whole party. Uh, you never know. But Drew, I think, has a good Dark Horse chance. Uh, maybe Gunther, but ultimately I think CM Punk's going to come out on top. So there you have it, my Royal Rumble predictions. We have Logan Paul coming out over Kevin Owens in the United States Championship match. We have Roman Reigns retaining in the Fatal 4-Way. Unless it's the main event, then I could see them swerving us and giving Randy the belt to set up Randy versus Cody. And the Women's Royal Rumble, I'm going with Bailey, Dark Horse, Liv Morgan if she returns. In the Men's Rumble, I'm going with CM Punk. Kind of the obvious choice, but there's a lot of good dark horses there. I even think Sami Zayn, if he comes back um, before CM Punk returned, I thought he was a good dark horse candidate. But those are my predictions. Let me know who you think is coming out on top in all these matches and enjoy the Rumble. If you haven't checked out my History of the Royal Rumble video, go check that out. A lot of great stuff. Let me know your favorite Rumble moment of all time and enjoy the Rumble. I'll see you guys after the Rumble. Bye-bye.